you know what I'm talking about, man, was good with the people, man. Uh, it's a partner, man, who, it's a partner, man, you know what I'm talking about, man. How is y'all doing on this, uh, what I said was, finding, um, finding friction Friday, man. Bro, what you talking about, we gonna get into it, before we do that, what's good, people like, he, he, ha, ha, you know what I'm talking about, Ken in the pen, man. Everybody incarcerated, everybody who ain't, man, everybody on the bottom of that thing, everybody on the top of that thing, man, keep that head up, you know what I'm talking about. Keep pushing. We gonna get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Did I say can in the pen? I don't know, but if I didn't go get that stick up in stores now, <clears throat> he ain't gonna get you one off of 76, Matt Carthur. Giants liquor is where I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? 82nd Hillside. You know what I'm talking about? Barbershop. You know what I'm talking about, man? They say somebody put them in their stores in the hundreds. Thank you, young man. Now you know, because I tell you every morning, man. You know what I'm talking about? But just in case you forgot. You come get them things from me, you know what I'm talking about? Did you see them? You know what I'm talking about? Hold on. Because that Funk or Die in stores, too. I've been telling you, man, I just had to get my thing right, man. Uh, Funk or Die. Or Funk or Die trying in stores now. Y'all, this is what the cover look like. You know what I'm talking about? This is what the cover. Funk or Die trying. You know what I'm talking about? In stores now. You know what I'm talking about? But if all else fails, and I mean if all else fails, man, you can go on Amazon and cop you a hardback, man. That Funk or Die trying, I don't even think they make them uh, hard back, but you go ahead and cop whichever one is on Amazon, you know what I'm talking about, man. Stick Up 2 coming soon. Funk or Die trying 2 coming real soon, you know what I'm talking about, man. I always start swinging that finger, young man, like that one right there, bro. That's the one, come on with it. Worldwide INC, man, you know what I'm talking about. Worldwide Incorporated, man, you know what I'm talking about. Worldwide, you know what I'm talking about. They're going to say, bro, what does that mean? I'm going to continuously tell you it means. Everybody, you know what I'm talking about? And Dulu Fresh, Mike, Lil Rue. Not Lil Rue, Lil Rue. You know what I'm talking about? Tata the player, that's who comes next. Same thing, bro. Everybody on the bottom of that thing, everybody on the top of that thing, man. Keep that head up. You know what I'm talking about? Keep pushing. We're going to get through it to get to it, man. You know what I'm talking about? Now let's get through these disclaimers. But before we do that, mama says, and mama always says, boy, brush them whiskers when you're on TV. Even if they got a hole in them. You know what I'm talking about? Coffee Chronicles. <sighs> Classic roast, piping hot, man. Now, good brother like myself, I don't promote no drug usage. Good brother like myself, I don't promote no drug sellage. Good brother like myself, I don't promote no alcohol consumption. Mm -mm, you know what I'm talking about? Me? I don't know, man. I don't promote no crime, man. I, uh, don't take a sip of the sippage. I don't promote no crime, man. I don't promote no... Uh, Violence, you know what I'm talking about? I don't promote no domestic violence, you know what I'm talking about? Keep your hands off the people, people, you know what I'm talking about? I don't, you know what I'm talking about? Promote, you know what I'm talking about? No, no negativity, no, man, no, man, no. Me, man, I don't promote shit. All I promote is y'all go ahead and do what you're going to do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you find the right thing, do with your time, young ladies and gentlemen, because we just don't know how much of it we have, young ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm talking about? But a good brother like myself, you know what I'm talking about? I ain't prejudiced, mm -mm, you know what I'm talking about? Good brother like myself, I ain't got nothing against the sexually different, man. No, man. Good brother like myself, I ain't got nothing against the little people. No, man. No. Me, man, I ain't got nothing against nobody. You know what I'm talking about? They was talking to me. Man, I just love me some everybody. You know what I'm talking about? As a matter of fact, I'm on a quest. You know what I'm talking about? Bring that peace. You know what I'm talking about? That joy. You know what I'm talking about? And that love. You know what I'm talking about? That love, man. Back to YouTube community, man. You with me? Come on over here, fuck with your partner. All right, all right, all right check it out, man. Come fuck with a nigga one time. He on some Man, how is y'all doing on this, uh, what I said was finding friction Friday, man. He said, bro, what we talking about? Oh, we gonna get into it, man. You know what I'm talking about, bro? Uh, shout out to everybody who be arguing with the other face, man. <laughs> I said, shut up. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Y'all see that coat? Still got a hold of it, bro, man. It's getting on up out of there. Find the friction, man. Listen, y'all. I don't even know, man. Hey, man, I told you, man. These last couple days been a little bit rough, bro. You get what I'm saying? So, man, uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to make the best out of it. Even though there ain't nothing you can really do, you just try to make the, the best out of it, man. I told y'all I'm good at doing that. You feel what I'm saying? 
for finding friction and goes like that, man. Because I'm one of the people that's under belief, man. You got one or two mentalities, man. You either got me against the world mentality or the world against me mentality. You know, me against the world mentality, you just embrace whatever they throw at you. You know what I'm talking about? You don't give a fuck. You know what I'm talking about? You out there, bring it on. You know what I'm talking about? You, you don't give a fuck what it is, man. You ready to grab that shit by the face. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You know, that world against me. So you, you got a little bit different attitude when it, when it, when it comes to that uh, mentality right there. You see that world against me shit? That's, that's, that, uh, that's kind of like that victim shit. And no matter where you go or what you do, everybody against me, everybody talking about me, everybody nan nan and all that old dumb ass shit right there, right? Now, if that's the way you think, man, shout out. I'm just telling you, I don't think like that, man. You know what I'm talking about? I don't be trying to find friction, man. You know, if that shit come around, so be it. You know what I'm talking about? But I don't go places looking for the problem. You get what I'm saying? And I think that is a lot of our problems. You know what I mean? That we don't feel like... I think some of us has been getting attention like that so long. That's just our go-to when we feel ain't nobody paying attention to us. We just got to start some big-ass commotion to get the attention at that moment. You get what I'm saying? But that finding friction, I'm going to tell you something, man. That shit gives me a headache, man. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That shit gives me a headache, man. I just get tired of that shit right there, man. I just do. You know what I'm talking about? Because it's just some situations, man, where uh, that shit just bigger. It's just a bigger picture, man. And the reason why, like, the, the, the reason... Uh, just your reason at that moment doesn't mean anything. Now, you can have your reason. You're entitled to that. But I'm just telling you, in some moments, that shit you didn't see or you didn't perceive or whatever the fuck you're talking about don't even matter because it's a bigger picture. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sorry, bro, what are you talking about once again? You know what I'm talking about? Some shit that I'm going through. You know what I'm talking about? It has nothing to do with the world. If you're going through this, though, you might understand what I'm talking about. You feel me? But, uh... On this finding friction Friday, man. You ain't always got to find it, man. You just don't. You don't always got to find it, man. Some don't always. Some don't always have to be wrong. You don't have to come everywhere and try to make like the. Uh, I'm just saying what I seen, man. It's like some of us we walk around and we just want the world to feel what we feel. And that ain't gonna never happen. <coughs> you might get some people. You feel me? But the real really don't give a fuck about you. And then this finding friction Friday, man. Uh I want y'all to understand that, like, everybody on this motherfucker done been through something, bruh. They just have. And once you understand that everybody has been through their own mishaps and miseries and sorrows and pain, and you will stop coming around acting like you are the only one who has, like, everybody, despite what they going through or what they done been through or what they going through in their life, that all of a sudden they, uh, they got to stop everything to feel you. Because there's people... I'm even guilty of this sometimes. You know what I'm talking about? I'm guilty of a lot of this shit sometimes, y'all. Coffee Connor. We just, uh, we so much, we, we, we come around, bruh, and you, you, as people, and I think this is one of our bigger problems, we just want to talk. We don't want to listen. We just, everybody, we, we don't want to listen to nobody, but we want everybody to listen to us. You get what I'm saying? Because for some reason, we come around sometimes as bullies. You get what I'm saying? And fuck what you talking about and everybody else, and this is what it is. Now, sometimes that is uh, is needed. You get what I'm saying? But a lot of time it's not. Yeah, sometimes it is, but a lot of time it's not. You get what I'm saying? So you don't really have to, uh, man, you can do what the fuck you want to do, man. 
I'm just telling you these last couple of days, man, uh, bread and water shelf down on his mental. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, man, bread and water shelf down a little bit. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know it don't take bread that long to charge this battery, though. You know what I'm talking about? I got one of them rabbit chargers. <laughs> Just on some real shit, man. On this finding, uh, I don't even know what the fuck I said. Finding, uh, Friction Friday, man. Like, a lot of times, it can really be smooth. It could just be smooth, man. A lot of times, it could be smooth, but we make it unsmooth. But we make it unsmooth every time. We don't get a people break once. Every time we come around, we finna find a fiction. Even if it ain't nothing, we finna create something. You know what I'm talking about? And, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I can just tell you, I see, it makes my head hurt. Shit, that shit gives a headache, man. Sometimes, man, and this is gonna be off subject all the way, man, but remember this, because... Like, you got to realize, some people, other big picture, ain't nothing but a little photo. Hey, we all got different definitions of big and small, man. You know what I'm talking about? What somebody else might consider big, it might not, it just might be miniature to you. You get what I'm saying? Find the friction Friday, man. Like, I, I don't even know, bro. I'm just talking about some shit I'm going through, I guess. I'm venting. You know what I'm talking about? They, they, they tell me, bro, you vent. You know what I'm talking about? I guess that's what I'm doing. Venting. You know what I'm talking about? Nephew, sis, old man, old lady. But yeah, man, find the friction. Just as people, if we could just step back sometimes out of ourselves and assess the situation. And even when I'm mad, not all the time, but I can still accept the situation. You know what I mean? It just depends on what kind of mad I am. It just depends on what happened. You know what I mean? But I'm not no, uh, like what the, what the old people say, pig-headed, stubborn. You know what I'm talking about? I'm pig-headed and stubborn like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's what that guy, uh, to a fault. You know what I'm talking about? Too much pride to a fault. But, uh, I still got understanding, bro. You know what I'm talking about? I still got understanding. And I just be understanding shit, bro. And sometimes, even me, just know when to shut up. Y'all ain't gonna believe that one. <laughs> nah, y'all ain't gonna believe that one. Say, bro, yeah, there ain't no one in the world. Chill, man, on this finding uh, Friction Friday, man. Sometimes, man, everybody just need to kick back, man. You know what I'm talking about? But put your eye on the bigger picture, man. There's another problem I think we all got. It's just like, uh, we be in a contest to be right. Like, but by you being right, it ain't going to change nothing. It's just you prove the point, okay, you 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 right. Like, I think we, we crave that too much, wanting to be right. You know what I'm talking about? I think we crave that too much, just wanting to be right. I told you so. Coffee Chronicles. Sometimes, man, not all the times, but just sometimes, man, uh, especially when it be a bigger picture, man, that be the time for everybody just to come together. You know what I'm talking about? With some uh, mellow understanding 
and just try to figure out what's better for the big picture. You get what I'm saying? It don't it don't really make no sense to find friction in the, uh, them type of moments. Because in life, man, why shit going on? And I know this one going to be a hard one for you to do, y'all. I know somebody going to say, bro, why you got your light? And like, I was just caught. <laughs> y'all remember they used to come out the shadow? <laughs> man, uh... say man like sometimes like I said this one's gonna be a hard one maybe for us but it be shit bigger than what's going on with you sometimes see in life I know you always gonna be the most important thing you get what I'm saying but sometimes it's just shit that be more important than the little shit you know what I'm talking about? Because in the grand scheme of things, man, uh, we go back and forth about a lot of little shit. Shit don't even matter. Most of that shit be about who right and what I can and what you can't make me do, all that type shit. And what I got the right to do and all that. Y'all you, you, know how that shit is. Motherfucker see a motherfucker or walk across the street talking about they got the right of way. You know what I'm talking about? You see a motherfucker coming down here, a nigga in a big car. You know what I'm talking about? One of them old school cars, man. A deuce in the quarter. You see this nigga mobbing down the motherfucker. <laughs> roll away at 85, 95. You know what I'm talking about? Miles per hour. But you done told yourself because you just this bad motherfucker, you gonna ignore what's really going on to tell yourself you got the right of way. So I guess the car better slow down. Even though he going a good 85, 95 miles an hour. You know what I'm talking about? But you done told yourself you got the right of way. Coffee Chronicles. Even though you seen what was going on. Some, we, uh, sometimes we do that in real life. You get what I'm saying? We just ignore what's really going on because we feel we got the right away. Some shit that don't even make no sense. You know what I'm talking about? Common sense would have told you that nigga way down there, if he hit his brakes way down there, he's still going to get to you skidding at a good 50, 55 miles an hour. Common sense ain't even told you that. If that nigga put his brakes on, from way down there, common sense ain't told you he finna skid. You know what I'm talking about? And by the time he get to you, he's still gonna be going a good 55, 65 miles per hour. You get what I'm saying? That's what common sense would have told you. Common sense would have told you either get your ass, it would have told you to run this way or that way. You know what I'm talking about? Because he's still way down there. But you're gonna walk slower because you got the right of way. And I guess he better slow down. I know I'm pig-headed, y'all, but, like, sometimes, sometimes it's just better to look at the bigger picture, man. Because it'd be a, uh, like, we, I'm finna say something that don't, none of us, like, you, you just never, I mean, you think about it time to time, but it just, it, it don't really be on you like that because you're just alive. But you just never think that this might be my day to go, uh, lead this motherfucker, bro. Nobody just wakes up with that thought. They just don't. Just like bro was saying, don't nobody just say, uh, just wake up and say, I'm going to go to jail. Like, yeah, I'm going to do this, this, and nigga, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to get to that hole and tank about, uh, 315, three, you know what I'm talking about? Don't nobody do that, bro. You just wake up and live. You know what I'm talking about? I always say, man, if you, uh, if you woke up, you got a chance to go to sleep. I think we all take that for granted. We do. But life a motherfucker, man. 
That's why it's good to try to have an understanding and pay attention where everything is floating, bro, because that's that shit that kill you when everything be fucked up and it be no longer, don't be no more. All that little small shit, that's when that shit start coming back up on your conscience and it beats you to death. For real. Because you were sitting right here, you know what I'm talking about, when you could have been just been spending all the time, you know what I'm talking about, showing a little bit of that love. You know what I'm talking about? Small shit, there's always going to be small shit. Only you could prevent forest fires. And with them right there, man, you don't remember nothing, man. Always remember, man, it don't cost nothing. Just a little bit of love.